on everyone my name is Donovan and tonight I want to share with you what I think might be the absolute best deal you can get on a GPS smartwatch at the moment and this is for a watch that I reviewed back in February it's the watch you can see right here this is the Amazfit Verge and right now you can pick it up for $125 which is actually about a $35 discount because originally when it was first launched this came out at a hundred and sixty and uh, I'm gonna leave some links down in the description but you can see right here you can pick it up from gearbest.com for $124.99 that's for the Amazfit Verge it's available in three different colors black the white version you see here also a navy color and then over here there is another version of the watch you can see is down to a hundred dollars that is the Amazfit Verge Lite you're gonna miss some features in that I'm not gonna go into detail on that one um, but if you're interested you can check that one out as well so I'll leave a link down for that one in the description as well and then you can see here it is also available at places like Amazon so I'll also leave that description or sorry that link in the description um, but that one's hundred and sixty dollars if you pick it up from Amazon so obviously a little bit quicker shipping if you get it there um, but it's gonna be a little bit more pricey so let's talk about why I think this is such a fantastic deal so first of all I absolutely love the Amazfit Verge it's a little bit of a limited watch um, so we'll talk about what limitations it has um, but it is absolutely fantastic if you're just looking for a basic GPS smartwatch that you can get notifications on has a fantastic screen then this is an absolute killer deal for $125. So let's talk about some of those features that are available. So we have GPS plus GLONASS. So we have two different satellite systems that we're working in order to get an accurate GPS. We have multi-sport tracking. We'll talk about all the different sports you can track with this one. We can get our notifications and I'll show you that in a little bit. Very accurate heart rate sensor. So on the back here, you can see there is a heart rate sensor. It is an all day heart rate sensor. So it's 24 hours. It's constantly going to be reading your heart rate. Um, we do also have onboard music, um, so that has been great. I love listening to music while I'm running. Um, you can also, of course, throw podcasts on there as well. Um, I mostly have been listening to music since I've been using this, but uh, you can throw podcasts, like I said. AMOLED color display, a water resistant. So this is IP68 water resistant. That's maybe just a slight negative. I'll throw that in there um, because it's not uh, for a swimmer. Um, you can go swimming with it. In fact, I've been swimming with it multiple times um, because it's super hot out right now in Michigan. And uh, so I've gone swimming with it. I wear it in the shower. No issues there. You just don't want to go deep sea diving with it because IP68 water resistance basically gives you nine uh, feet of water resistance for up to 30 minutes. So like I said, it's going to be fine swimming with it. Um, but again, don't go deep sea diving with it. And uh, we do have a long lasting battery and uh, they claim up to five days. We'll talk more about the realistic battery life that you're going to get because um, five days is basically only if you're going to use it as a basic smartwatch if you're using it for running and listening to music it's going to be more like two days so just a heads up there so let's kind of run through some of the features real quick like i said it's a very simple watch um, over here we're going to go into our full settings um, this one right here is going to be uh, the option to turn it off so that's super simple uh, we have a brightness setting there that's going to turn our sound on or off we have airplane mode and then do not disturb and then if i slide up from the bottom you can see there are notifications has has really detailed notifications so we can go in here to this messenger um, this is from um, actually gearbest.com letting me know about some deals there and then over here these are all of our apps so this is definitely another limitation if you want an, a watch full of apps this is definitely not the watch for you um, you're limited to the apps that you see here and that's okay if you want a basic smartwatch that can do for me what I think are the essentials I can listen to music with it uh, I can actually download music directly to it it has four gigs of storage um, really actually two and a half gigs it's a four gig watch but only about two and a half gigs is of available for music um, but plenty of storage there for music so that's one thing um, and then also I can track my running and get notifications for me those are the three things that I think are important so um, it does of course also um, so if I go in here to health this is just going to show me uh, what I've done so far today so it shows me my steps that's all it's going to show at the moment um, we have our heart rate so of course again it's always tracking your heart rate um, and that's continuous heart rate and you can see that it's tracking it throughout the day but if you go into the app it'll actually actively show you your current heart rate we have sports so that's where I'm gonna go ahead and show you the multi sports that it can track so we have running walking cycling running indoors indoor cycling elliptical trainer climbing so if you're doing on a hike you can use that one we can do trail running skiing tennis soccer rope skipping and that's it so that those are all of 
the things that you can track. So notice one thing that's missing obviously is swimming. Um, so if you're a swimmer, uh, you'll probably want to go with the Amazfit Stratus. Um, that one's a little bit more expensive, closer to like $180. Um, but that one also is definitely more of a multi-sport tracker. Um, it also has an always-on display. So that's definitely one of the knocks against this watch is that it's not an always-on display. So you can see you can turn it off, uh, but you can, of course, flip your wrist to turn it on, or you do also have that double tap option that you see there. We do have sleep tracking, so it'll track your sleep. Um, so you can see last night I got six hours and 59 minutes and as I slide to the left that's going to get us out of our most recent app we can track our recent activities this is going to show you all of my recent activities so last night I went on a run four miles and uh, it's going to show you all the details so it's going to give you a lot of information so I'll just go ahead and show you real quick some of the things it's going to give you very detailed run information it's not going to give you some of the features that higher end watches so for instance um, you know, in comparison, this is my Garmin 400 245 Music. Um, this one does basically all the same things you get here, but this one has a lot more detailed running information. So if I go up here, I actually hit the wrong button there. Um, but this one's going to give me like my VO2 max, also my training effect and things like that. Um, so it's going to give you a, a lot more information than what I can get here. Um, but this one still gives you very good information. So first of all, distance, your time traveled, um, your pace for the run, your best pace over the run, your average cadence, um, stride length, things like that. Um, altitude, it's going to show you your, your uh, altitude over the course of the run. So my total elevation gain was 75 feet. So obviously not a lot there. Your calories burned. Um, but just a bunch of good information, including your heart rate. So average heart rate, max heart rate. Um, and uh, yeah, just a lot of really good information about your workout. So uh, if you're a runner, that's awesome. It's got that. Cycling, of course, you can track your cycling as well. So you can see in here, did actually track. There was a walk that I did. Um, back here, there's a cycle. So I went for my with my kids for a walk. And basically, it's going to show you all the same information here, even your heart rate, your altitude, and things like that as well. Um, but yeah, so a lot of good information. Excellent health tracker. So if you're looking for a good health tracker that's not going to break the bank, this one is a good one. Um, you can see it does have phones, so you can actively take phone calls uh, from this watch because it does have that microphone and also a speaker. So um, you can get your phone calls through uh, the speaker here, and also the person can hear you through the microphone. So that is uh, obviously only if you are connected up to your phone so you have to be within Bluetooth range of your phone but it does work and of course like I said we have music so um, we can play it directly from the speaker here it's not a great one um, so I'd recommend connecting it up to some Bluetooth headphones but it does have its own speaker so you don't have to have Bluetooth headphones I definitely recommend uh, getting Bluetooth headphones to use with it though for sure um, then of course we can get our weather um, but like I said, just a lot of great information, uh, a lot of good information here. Uh, your alarms, you can set alarms and it is uh, an actual audible alarm because of that speaker. We have find my phone. So it's going to let you know if, as long as you're in Bluetooth range of your phone, you can get that stopwatch, timer, compass, and then we can go into our settings. So um, there are also a bunch of watch faces available uh, for the watch. So this is just one of them. Um, there are some that are more formal. And so you can see that some of them are uh, geared towards like athletes. So it's going to give you a lot more running information. It's going to be a digital clock and then also some more analog clocks as well. So if you want something that's maybe a little bit more formal, you can go with more of a classic look for the watch face. Um, so that is an option as well. Um, there are removable bands here. So if you don't like the silicone bands it comes with, you can remove them. And one other feature that is recently added to the watch that wasn't original to the watch um, is if you hit this button just once, it is going to bring up Alexa. So what's the weather like for tomorrow? All right, and we'll weather go ahead and look. for St. John's. There's an excessive heat warning in effect until Saturday, July 20th, 8 p.m. All right, so Here it's telling me there's an excessive heat alert for tomorrow. It's 93 degrees, so for some of you that might, need be, not, might not be all that warm, um, but we have a lot of humidity, so it's going to feel like over 100 tomorrow uh, here in Michigan. But anyways, uh, really awesome watch. Definitely one I recommend. Uh, if you are a casual runner, um, this one is maybe not the best for elite runners because obviously there's no way to really track intervals with this watch. Um, you can set up uh, in the app there are ways to actually set up interval training so i'll go here into the app hopefully i have it up here still um so here is 
uh, the watch, and this is the app you're going to use. It's called the AmazeFit uh, app, and it does work with Android and iOS, of course. Um, and you can see in here, this is how you can add music. So you go into the file manager, and you can find music from your phone, add it to the uh, watch. So that's how you're going to do that. Um, we can update, of course, notifications. So I can pick and choose which um, notifications are going to come from my phone to the watch. You there's certain ones that you don't want to get, which uh, that's for me personally, I don't like getting every notification to my watch. Um, so you can set that. Um, but yeah, a fantastic watch. Definitely one I recommend picking up for $125. Uh, that is a killer deal for a watch, I think, that can do a whole lot, um, especially if you're a casual runner or someone who just likes working out. Maybe not a runner, but you're a cyclist um, and you don't really need things like intervals or your VO2 max. This is a fantastic GPS smartwatch. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If there's any questions you have about the watch, like I said, I've been using it since basically February off and on, but really excessively over the last week, I've been using this watch exclusively. I should say not excessively, but exclusively. This is the watch I've been using and I really like it. So anyways, questions down in the comments. Also uh, in the description, there are all those links for the watch. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.